What's up, Jonah? It's Sunday night. Um, I know that uh, you got me your video super late on Friday, so I just posted it Saturday as Saturday's video, and I'm posting mine, but I'm also doing it very late. Um, I saw you uploaded a video for today, but I'm just going to post it tomorrow. So tomorrow, make sure you take the day off um, and um, we will just resume. I will uh, I'll post your video tomorrow and then uh, we'll just resume. I'll post again on or I'll do my video on Tuesday. Um, I'm super excited. Ant and um, Scott uh, from Alabama were in there working on a personal project for Scott. Ant was teaching him how to make a matrix mold and I've been shooting a bunch of stuff. So I'm super excited to show everyone about that. Um, in fact, I'm gonna, here, let me show you this little clip real quick. I'm recording a video while I'm recording a video of them being recorded on video. Uh, I'm excited, a little sneak peek into what the video is gonna be like for uh, next week. And this is not gonna be a, a daily vlog. This is gonna be a separate video on matrix molding this halo helmet. So that's gonna be super cool. And you know, while it's not an actual job for the company, it's been really exciting to, you know, challenge ourselves on how to approach this complicated mold to also teach um, someone who is an amateur. And I mean that in the best way, someone who does it purely for the love um, that we're helping somebody who has this amateur passion for doing professional level work and making uh, cool art, like awesome art for um, himself and also to make available to other like video game enthusiasts. So that's super exciting. Um, I watched your video on meditation and I couldn't agree more about how important it is to take time to reflect and, and understanding how important um, taking care of, of what seem like small things because they have uh, just compounding effects over the entirety of a system just like how your shoulder can affect so many other parts of your body. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've had a really interesting weekend. I, I talked to my therapist, George, and uh, we talked a lot about what's going on in the world. And we talked about, you know, philosophy and, and trying to understand like the discourse in the world. And, you know, we've always talked about keeping this channel from not being somewhere where we talk about politics. And I am keen to keep that true. And what, one of the things I thought was very interesting is, where I've noticed a big breakdown in the ability to communicate people is uh, communicate with people is the, it feels like right now there's like two modes of operating right now. There are people who believe in objective truths, who believe that facts are super important. And then there are the people who believe that subjective reality, your lived experience is the ultimate. And I feel like where conversations have broken down is where everybody is speaking two different languages. And I think that that's a funny parallel to what it means to be an art business, because it seems just like that. As artists, we live between those two parallels, right? It's like on one hand, it doesn't matter how good the art we make is. If it isn't done, if it isn't delivered, we don't make money and the company fails. So in so many regards, we have to be super objective about just getting things done, being process oriented, facts, not how we feel. But then on the other side, it's like the art is our passion and it's our livelihood. It's what we care about. It's our ability to express ourselves and to feel acknowledged. So how we feel about that art is important to not burning out and not just like, you know, not just being spread thin. And I feel like as art business people, we're always living in between those two truths, trying to live honestly to ourselves while operating in the objective world around us. And I wonder if maybe there isn't something there for how we help other artists in terms of, of being able to support themselves financially. We're giving artists the ability to look at the world objectively and, and carve out a section of it and make it their own while being able to, to give the world a glimpse into their subjective experience and their, their lived experience. And, you know, I think like when I think about the world at large right now, it's like that's where things seem to be stuck. It's either all objective or all subjective. And I'm curious to see if there's some way that we can't, in the same way we've done it with our art business, um, help people both in their art and in the conversations in the world right now, try to create a harmony in the middle between the individual and the group. Be interesting. Anyways, um, I'm going to leave it at that. I, I love philosophical questions and I feel like, I feel like philosophy and, and, perspective is is massively important in terms of art and and artistic nature and your ability to produce a wide array of interesting things and um 
I think that uh, I I never want to get too uh, too off topic or too deep, but I just think that it's really interesting to think about how objectiveness has served us in terms of creating success in our lives, but how we always have to honor that subjective reality that we experience through our personal history. Um, and uh, maybe I'll focus a little more on that this week. It, it's, um, it's an interesting re realization. But anyways, I'm off to bed. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for getting that video today. Um, I know technically it means we missed a day. And um, I, I think uh, we'll just call it a wash. And so I'll post your video tomorrow morning. Can't wait to see it. And, um, and I, will, I will respond on Tuesday. See you later.